Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the preferences menu uh, that's set up inside of Profile Manager. And so again, if you uh, wonder how we got to this point, I'm doing a series on Mojave Server. You may want to go back and look at those screencasts to see how we got to this point. Uh, but let me show you these, this menu item. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because it's a pretty powerful thing that can be forgotten in the Profile Manager interface. So if you come down here, you'll notice that I've got this little gear icon down here. You can see I've got a plus. If I just click on the plus, I can add devices here. But if I just uh, hit this little gear icon, you notice all of these things that I can do with this pop-up menu. Uh, for instance, I can lock uh, a device from here. Uh, I can wipe a device. I can update info uh, on a particular device or clear a passcode or clear the screen time passcode. You can see uh, all of these different things that I can do. I can play a sound on my device if I want that or disable lost mode, uh, push apps or books or remove apps or books. So if I go remove apps, you see I get this drop down and any apps that I've put on there in the apps area here, I can select all and remove or remove individually. Let um, me just come back in here a second. You notice, too, that it's taken me right to the apps area when I did that. Uh, the other things that I can do, I can log a user out from here, uh, enable the diagnostics, uh, app analytics. I can set the grace period, unlock a user. I can even restart a device from here uh, if I wanted to do that uh, just by clicking on this. So if I say restart a device, it brings up the device I can restart, which in our case are, is a Mac because Macs are what will be restarted. If I select that, I could restart it from here. Now, remember, this is a web interface, so I can restart it from anywhere I want. Uh, so if I ever needed to do a quick reboot, I could do that from here. Uh, let me go ahead and cancel and come back in here. Uh, I can also shut down a device, the same kind of thing, and I could set a firmware password or even verify it. So if I hit verify, you can see I can enter the password and it'll verify uh, whether that's on there or not and whether it's accurate. So there are a ton of management things in here uh, that I can do with my devices right from this profile manager interface from this little menu item down here. Now if I go over to devices, you'll notice that if I just click on this, it's a lot smaller. It changes because the range is uh, specific to the actual device that I'm selecting. So I can lock it, wipe it, update info. Uh, I can even request uh, AirPlay mirroring if I've got it connected to uh, an AirPlay setup. Uh, clear the passcode, uh, enable data roaming or disable it. Uh, voice uh, roaming or not, uh, personal hotspot I can enable from here uh, so that if I just uh, you know, click on, on that button, choose the device, I can say enable personal hotspot and then it will enable it so that it turns it on for me. Uh, let me go ahead and cancel that and come back in here. Uh, and then of course I can push uh, books or apps or remove books or apps that I have over here as well. So again, just uh, kind of a, an interesting thing that's sitting right here that we may uh, forget about uh, if I didn't cover it and let you see that it was there. So that's the preference menu items area that's inside of Profile Manager. Again, a very powerful way to manage your apps. Uh, again, since it's a web interface, you can do it remotely or on your network as well. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.